Like design's not just about like making pretty pictures, but it's about solving problems. I think they're like the big power of design is to take like where you are mm -hmm. and like where you want to be and figuring out how to get there. Right. Uh, and that's like a lot of stuff, like when you talk about schools, like a lot of that, that thinking about the business problem or understanding mm -hmm. is like what they don't teach. Mm -hmm. Like they'll teach like the skills and the assembly and, and some of the, the strategy, but I think the hard work is figuring out like what to make and mm -hmm. why it's gonna work. Design sort of turned into a commodity in people's minds because sure. the word design means a lot of different things and tools are so easily accessible. So like, I mean, anybody has Photoshop or like web versions of Photoshop nowadays. So things that are beautiful or pretty are really common. But I think the thing with, that still makes design valuable is the, like you said, the research that goes into it, the thinking and the strategizing behind. Like, it's not like the pretty is just a layer of it. Behind it is all of the thinking about what's effective, what do consumers want, what do, what's best for that company, and what can they portray from a cultural standpoint that reflects them. Biggest misconception Easy. about branding that, that we it's, see? That it's a logo. A logo and colors. Oh yeah. What font is this brand? Doesn't matter. Yeah. Your logo matters so little. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about what Jazzy does, messaging. Yeah, I think really like the word brand and reputation are the same things nowadays. And I think mm. like when you when you do branding, you're trying to figure out who you want to be and then how you're going to spread that story. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's far from just a logo. I mean, type and logo and color and all that stuff and form, that's very important to reinforce that idea, but it's the mm -hmm. idea itself that's kind of the, the hardest part. Absolutely.